What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show on this rainy ass afternoon. Uh, there's another hurricane passing over the ocean, and uh, New Jersey is just catching all of it. It's been raining for like a day and a half. It's good though, because we need it. So, so there's that. Uh, not a lot going on this week, so uh, this is going to be quick. Um, how about these clowns on Grim's Toy Show? Uh, everybody's been asking, are you helping? Are you going to help? I'm actually helping. I'm doing my detective, uh, bat detective skills. I'm trying to figure out who they are. So far, I got nothing. Um, people have asked if they've captured me. Uh, nope, I'm right here. <laughs> they didn't capture me. How about Kurt Hawkins making his way onto SmackDown? Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, he's got these crazy promos that he's cutting, but hey, you know, look at the web show. <laughs> Is it really anything different than, than what he's done with Grimm? And where's Paige? Oh my goodness, she tweeted something today, and I favorited it, and I replied to her, uh, OMG, you need to come lay down the law, you don't even know. And I, I put little emojis in there, I put a thumbs up, I put a red heart, and I put a little house, because this is my house! <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh because I thought that was hilarious. That's what she says, right? So I got the little house emoji. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, Matthew McCarty had a birthday earlier this week. Happy birthday. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. And Jose Montes had a... It is the, it is the super fan birthday week. I can't get over this. Um... What else? And hardcore... A lot of people have been asking about hardcore hobbies. I don't know why that's come around. It comes around every so often, and then you just get a slew of questions about it. Yes, yes, I was on a hardcore hardcore hobby show with Nat, National Geographic. I was about to say Nat Geo, but not everybody knows. Um, Grim and I were both on the show. What they intended to do was to make a full season of these collectors and their awesome collections called Hardcore Hobbies. When everyone else they interviewed backed out and it was just me and Grimm left, they did a one-hour special and they took like the best of the best of the footage of both of us and they put together half-hour segments for us. Uh, the only thing was that uh, instead of being an awesome hobby, they turned it into an episode of Hoarders and they brought us each, you know, the fake psych P psychiatrist and uh, why, why do you need so many baseball cards? If they were all Mickey Mantle cards, no one would say a fucking word, okay? They just happen they just happen to be Andy Van Slyke cards. Maybe he's my Mickey Mantle. And then and then they flew Andy Van Slyke out to the house. We got to spend the day, we had lunch, we played catch in the street. How many people do you know have played catch with their favorite baseball player? Not many. I bet you can't even count it on one hand. Except for this guy. Uh King K1 uh, earlier in the weekend, I was tweeting on and on about, about the pay-per-view over the weekend. What the hell was it? Uh, Clash of Titans? Clash of the Titans. <laughs> it may as well have been. Clash of Champions and King K1 says, You're so funny, you should have a YouTube channel. I was polite. At Mikey Rice got two Pokemon medals and he got Clefairy. I don't think we have Clefairy. I have to check with the boy. Uh, my flash drive over on Amino says, You are a legend. And K capitalizes legend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what else? Uh, earlier last week on Thursday, we did a Mega Bloks Halo little building kit. You know, Mega Bloks is like Lego, but they're not as good as Lego. And. Um, they had this little Halo motorcycle, and it came with a guy and a crystal alien. It was like three bucks on clearance at the at the store. I said, I gotta get it. And I did a stop motion and put it together. It was okay. Um, I we have this little stop motion app from the Minecraft Movie Maker kit, and uh, I done a little stop motion with it. It's it's time consuming, and I have yet to make long something longer than ten seconds. <laughs> it's a lot of pictures. It only comes out to ten seconds. Oh, <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Fan mail last week on 9-23 of the year 2016 for those time travelers out there watching the show. Kane to Cartar to oh my goodness, Kane Tokarski says, awesome video. D-Man says, nice video, very cool, awesome and more awesome. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Sketch says, great video, man. 
Radicals Whatever says, that was really cool. I really like your videos. You deserve more likes, especially for the amount of subs you have. People need to be active on your channel because it's totally worth it. Everybody needs to listen to this guy. All y'all. Even you, you dirty little bastard in the back. All the way back there. <laughs> I do that all the time. Uh, Paul Willis says, amazing fan mail. Alex deserves more subs for all the hard work he puts into his videos. And he's a good friend, too. Thank you, Paul. But truth! Oh, my goodness. I've actually, I've actually, there's a couple things. I've actually been playing with the time slot. Um, not, not so much because I need more time to make the show. I just, I feel something op that goes right opposite the same time as Grimm uh, doesn't do as much. So I'm like, well, why am I going to retweet it like an hour or a half hour later if I could just put it up an hour or a half hour later and I think from tomorrow's video forward we're going to go with 6.30 instead of 5.30. You know what that means? That means I need to make another this is the most important part of the show video. Great. One more video for me to make. Yes. Thank you everybody. Uh, Rick Rampager says Alex is in page heaven. I was. Paul, Paul was awesome, and he sent me some page paraphernalia. It was great. Uh, David Griffin says, page mode. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Uh, Paul, Paulo Stallo Stallioni. Oh, my goodness. I butchered your name. Paulo Stallioni says, great stuff, Alex. Thank you, Paulo. Uh, Teresa, my Yankee buddy, says, hashtag fear the, hashtag fear the pants. <laughs> Ryoga says, amazing fan mail, Alex. Amazing as Naomi. Thank you. Thank you, Ryoga, for sending the... Um, Foxy figure, you said. That was pretty awesome. Uh, For Rob Forky Jr. says, Feisty burps! <laughs> I did! He, he let out a vicious burp, and he says, Great fan mail. Thank you so much. Um, Clash of Champions was this past weekend. It was the first Raw pay-per-view. Compared to the SmackDown pay-per-view, Backlash, I think Backlash was a little better. Um, Raw was a little more predictable, I think. I think it was a lot predictable. I think everybody was who won was going to win, and I think you knew it. Even though Feisty Pants... Pick Seth Rollins to win over Kevin Owens. I knew Kevin Owens was going to win. You know, just give him the title and then to take it back. Unless you're Roman Reigns. But then Roman Reigns won the other title. But then what's he going to do when he goes into the heavyweight chase? I don't know. Who cares? Rick Rampager says, I just hope it's good. <laughs> and agrees that Backlash was better. Ha <laughs> ha. Severy says, nice video. Thank you, Severy. Nick Ruiz says... LOL, Al, too funny sometimes. You know, I am too funny for myself. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Basir Tarabi says, nice video, Alex. Epic predictions. Thank you, sir. Uh, here to save you all says, cool intro. Thank you. We are actually, that is that is called Meet the Cast version 4. We are working on a version 5. It's taking a little bit of time. Uh, Jose Atilano. Atilano? Atil Atil sure. He hopes Paige comes back soon. Oh, my God. I hope so, bro. Uh, Q&A 118 was last week. Uh, I did a little special moment of silence for Jose Fernandez of the Marlins. He was a pitcher. Was in a boating accident Sunday morning, early Sunday morning. They canceled uh, Sunday's game. And they the Marlins won in um, glorious fashion in Monday's game. And um, Jose Fernandez had a quite a career under his belt already. He was very, very young. And he had a huge, very bright future ahead of him. And um, it, it's going to suck without him. It, like, like no joke. Uh, thank you, everything, Jose. Moment of silence. Shut up. Uh, Steam Siege in two parts last week on Monday. We, we, we bought a crap ton of cards, and I, I made two videos out of it. I switched back to one video on Monday, because it's back to school now, and, you know, I don't want to take away from homework, and, you know, I know I'm not the only show you guys watch, so so there's that. Al uh, Daniel Parker says, Alex's Toy Show rocks. Ever Gaming says, nice video. Thanks, guys. Feisty Pants got a lot of good cards out of there, out of this new Steam Siege um, expansion, so, uh, so that should be pretty cool. Uh, when we get some more cards, we'll see what we get, and then we will show them on the video, on the, on the interweb. The internet, that thing is still around. <laughs> Baseball Tuesday, we hauled a Addison Russell shitbox. Now, a lot of you guys that have seen the video and left comments, I shouldn't say a lot of you, because it's only three of you, 
I think you're misinterpreting the title. I'm not calling Addison Russell a piece of shit. I'm saying the box of cards that he that I got his rookie card on top, the rest of the box of cards was shit. It is a shit box with Addison Russell on the front. If you look at my other shit box videos, you'll see the same thing. Masahiro Tanaka wasn't shit. Dylan Batances isn't shit. But the shit boxes they come in. Freaking guys. T-Man says, nice video. Keep them up. Cameron Crespin says, nice vid. How about the Indians clinching the uh, Central? Very good for the Indians. I didn't think they were going to do it. Or did I? No, I, I think Detroit wasn't going to do it. Cleveland, yeah. I think I got that mixed up. Um, Wade Wilson, 42, says, awesome. He's a big fan of the show. Thank you, Wade. And here's a couple of you guys that got it wrong here. Uh, Andrew Lynn Wrestling says, Addison rocks, man. I know he does. The box of cards is shit, not Addison Russell. And Chandler Smith says, Addison Russell is good, okay? Like, he got a little defensive here. Cubs are going to win the World Series. I know they're going to win the World Series. I predicted them to win the World Series. Back in spring training, watch my videos. And understand English. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just kidding. It's an Addison Russell shit box. Not a shitty Addison Russell. Good God. Rubik's Cube in Minecraft. Feisty Pants built it. It was awesome. Uh, check it out. And then we put in a little nether portal and I got my ass kicked in the nether. Amy Holt says, which mode were you playing? If you've ever played Minecraft, you can clearly see that we were in creative mode. And then we switched halfway to survival mode. There's only the two modes. I mean, there's adventure mode, but I mean, that's crazy. So there's three modes. We played two of them. Rick Rampager says, I started laughing my ass off when the portal blew up. <laughs> I know, right? I couldn't, I was like, oh crap, what do I do now? I thought legitimately I was going to be stranded in another. I didn't realize I could just build another portal. It was great. D-Man says, nice. Thank you for, uh, thank you for creative mode. Thank, thank, thank the Minecraft gods. All right, folks, that is that for the uh, for the fan mail. I got a package here from Paul Willis, but I'm going to save it for next week because I got other packages coming, and it's going to be great. Uh, if you have fan mail, you want to get in on camera, uh, it's something that I'll open. You want to send it right here to Alex and Soy Show, P.O. Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. Like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more. That's me singing. <laughs>